Right, with us we have Solly Daker, the National Coordinator of the Namibia School Sports Union. Now Solly, you've just announced the ball games coming up here and being hosted in Namibia um, in a week's time. Tell us more about that. Yeah, we are hosting the third Kosasa ball games for, uh, for hosting by, hosted by Namibia. Uh, the ball games will start from the 30th of August up to the 1st of September. Uh, at this point of time, countries confirm their participation uh, are five countries, Botswana, Lesotho, Zambia, Zimbabwe and those Namibia. Those are the five countries and there's a possibility of Swaziland also participating. So we are looking forward to hosting this event because uh, this uh, earmarks 21 years of school sports excellence uh, at, at the school sport level. So therefore we also added two new flavors to this event whereby we are going to host the Miss NSSUB UBD pageant which will take place on the 30th of August at the uh, uh, Dal uh, uh, Unam campus and then we will have also a new sport code, not actually new but new to ball games uh, which is cricket from primary schools under 13 and under, uh, under 13 boys and girls. So in short, this is what we are looking forward. We will have the official opening ceremony on the 31st of August uh, at the Independent Stadium and it will be opened by the Honorable uh, 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 the Minister of Youth, National Service, Sport and Culture, Honorable Castanambo uh, Castanambo. And then the closing ceremony which will take place at the Safari Hotel uh, on the 1st of September which will be hosted by the Deputy Minister of Youth, National Service, Sport and Culture, uh, uh, Honorable Deputy, uh, Deputy Poamba Shifeta. So in short, we are grateful for government who injected 1.5 million uh, in uh, hosting this event, but we are also grateful to the corporate partners uh, in Namibia, uh, Coca-Cola Namibia, uh, who uh, sponsored uh, 35,000 Namibian dollars in cash and kind, to uh, Tonga Hewlett, who sponsored 45,000 dollars in cash, Bank Vinduk 10,000, F&B 10,000, and uh, the sport power in the country, Exco Sport, to the tune of 28,000. To all of them, we are grateful. And if there's any other part, corporate people that still want to become part and partial of this event, feel free to contact my office, and we will gladly take you on board because government can only provide everything, and that's why we are grateful to, to you also. Right. Now, Sully, um, only five countries participating. I understand South Africa, they're still restructuring um, and they should be back on board soon. But um, are you going to try and get other countries like Angola, Malawi and so on to come on board? Yes, of course. We are currently, uh, uh, fortunately for me, uh, me, myself and Mrs. Busuva, we are currently on the ex executive of COSASA. Uh, we, we are having, we, are, we planned an executive meeting with the director of sport, who was also the, uh, the, the uh, chairperson for SCASA Zone 6. To, to pave the way forward how we can get uh, uh, Angola, Malawi, uh, as well as Mauritius and Mozambique, all those countries, how we can get them on board, so to make it a fully fledged uh, Zone 6 uh, participation at, at COSASA level. Because we see it as the bedrock of talent identification and development before we step onto the uh, Zone 6 CASA Under-20 Youth Games and before we go uh, into Continental Games.